Why Whitney, 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 Whitney. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome if you're new. And thank you for joining me, Pluto, the lawyer from the land down under. Although, I am currently a nomad making videos from various hotel rooms. Today, we'll be talking about Whitney Hurd's reaction or Whitney Henriquez's reaction to Johnny Depp's cameo as the Moon Man at the VMAs. So, as I said, Johnny Depp was very graciously invited to cameo as the Moon Man at the VMAs. It was recorded elsewhere. He didn't make a live appearance because of his filming commitments. And of course, it ignited the fire, the rage, the fury of Amber Heard, whose career is practically over after Johnny's success in Virginia. And no, I still don't think that her appeal is going to go anywhere. So, Whitney takes to social media and slams MTV for daring to invite Johnny Depp to Cameo. She says, at MTV, you're disgusting and clearly desperate. I really hope that none of the people that made this call have daughters. I stand with Amber Heard alongside a graphic that renamed the event the DVMAs. And of course, we all know what the DV stands for. Honestly, this is defamation all over again. She is defaming Johnny Depp by accusing him of being a perpetrator of domestic violence and of being a danger to women because specifically she said, I hope these people don't have daughters. You know, the irony is Amber Heard has a daughter and everyone is worried about the welfare of that little girl. I believe Whitney has daughters too. And I do wonder whether in her private time, in her spare time, she is actually afraid of leaving her sister alone with her own children. At the end of the day, your sister is the perpetrator. You are being complicit by perpetuating her narrative and continuing to defame Johnny, but Amber definitely takes the cake when it comes to disgusting and desperate. I do want to say that I understand that Whitney is Amber's sister, but there is always a limit. Even if it's a blood relative, even if it's a family member, there is a limit. People wanna stand by their family, I get it. But when their family member is not only wrong, but someone dangerous who harms people, who threatens people's lives, who lies and defames and abuses, and you are privy to all of those things. You are privy to how they victimize people and destroy everyone around them. There comes a time where you have to take a stance with what's right not with your sibling or your family member, just because. And unfortunately, this is the stance that Whitney Heard has chosen to make. Now, is it completely voluntary? We all know, thanks to Jennifer Howell's declaration, which I will be linking in the description box down below. I won't be going through it in any detail because I did that over two years ago now, and I will be linking that video as well. But we know that Whitney Heard is terrified of her sister Amber. If the story of her ripping up another woman's dress and attacking her over Elon Musk is true, and quite honestly, we now have text messages as evidence of the veracity of that story, then imagine what else she's capable of. I mean, we don't have to imagine. Just look at Johnny's right middle finger. This is the thing, Whitney. The truth always comes out. It just has a way you know how they say life always finds a way? The truth always finds a way. In this instance, let's consider Jennifer Howell, for example. A third party, someone who really owes no allegiance to Johnny, Amber, or Whitney, for that matter. Jennifer only spoke up when she realized what Whitney Heard had testified to in London during the UK libel case. Unable to believe what she was hearing or reading, she felt compelled to voice the truth. Not her truth, but the objective truth, which is that Amber Heard is a violent, scary, dangerous perpetrator of abuse. And she has multiple targets. Growing up, Whitney was her target, as Whitney herself had divulged to Jennifer because Whitney and Jennifer grew incredibly close. According to Jennifer, Whitney knew what Amber had done to Johnny's finger. She knew the truth because she said so to Jennifer Howell. Contemporaneously, essentially as it happened, even though she wasn't there, she'd heard about it. And she said, oh my God, Amber's gone and done it. Why would she say that about her own sister? 
if she didn't know exactly who her sister was. No one knows you like your family. Sometimes they know you more than you know yourself because we can be very blind to our own faults and shortcomings. This reminds me of Jodi Arias, the notorious murderer. When her parents were informed of what she'd done to her victim, Travis Alexander, they weren't shocked. They weren't surprised. There's footage of it. It completely fit the bill. They know their daughter. Then there was the staircase incident, which was really the crux of Jennifer Howell's declaration. Whitney told Jennifer that Amber was the one attacking Johnny, that she was afraid she was going to kill Johnny, and that she almost pushed her own sister. So Amber almost pushed Whitney down the stairs when she interjected because she was afraid for Johnny's life. Why would a third party like Jennifer Howell, who is a lovely woman, why would she lie? Whitney has multiple motives. The main one, of course, being that Amber Heard is her sister. Unfortunately, when it comes to family members, spouses, there is still this preconception in courtrooms, you know, when, when someone very close to you testifies and they're related to you, specifically they're your partner or your immediate family member, whether rightly or wrongly, if their testimony is in your favor, sometimes not a lot of weight is assigned to that because of the court's understanding of human nature. You're going to side with the person that you love. You're going to want to cover up for them. Not all the time. There are many people with integrity who will stand with the truth and side with it no matter what. But on the flip side, there are many Whitney Herds out there who will cover for their family in spite of the truth glaring them in the face. There is another person, another third party, a man by the name of Vince Jolivet. Now, Vince is a film producer who knew Whitney and actually dated her briefly as well. He also confirms that Whitney told him exactly the same story that she had told Jennifer Howell about the staircase incident. This version painted Amber as the perpetrator, the attacker, and Johnny was her victim. And Whitney was afraid for Johnny. I think at this point, the truth is out there. And whoever wants to believe it is going to believe it. People who want to be willfully blind to the truth that's on them. And unfortunately, the mainstream media is still running with this narrative of believe all women at all costs. As a woman myself, I don't want to live in a world like that. I don't want to live in a world where women can get away with anything and everything simply because of their biological sex. That's not equality. That's not feminism. That's not fair. And it endangers other women as well. I am a victim of such a perpetrator, and I am a woman. They spare no one. So if you're out there supporting the Amber Herds of the world, then maybe you should think twice. They don't just target men. Take it from me. That's it for this video. This is just another attempt to spread the truth out there and to combat the lies, because this is what this channel is all about. No matter who we talk about, liars, need to get exposed because they are a cancer in society. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one. I do aim to upload a lot more frequently now. I really want to up my YouTube game and grow the channel and just start making more videos, honestly, because I've been limiting myself to either legal updates, legal cases, or the podcast. And I thought, why not just make small videos whenever a topic arises that I want to talk about? It's my channel. I can talk about whatever I want. And if you don't like it, you know where the door is. Tomorrow's video that I intend on uploading is for those of you who are interested more in the Meghan Markle aspect of this channel, we will be looking at the cut. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.